What is up guys, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Bront, and today we're going to be checking out the Humble Bundle Monthly for March, and actually this one kicked some fucking ass. So anyways, the games that we actually got this time were Ark Survival Evolved was the game that you got if you paid early, which is pretty damn good because, well, that's a $20 game and you're only paying $12 a month for this, so goddamn that's fucking awesome. So yeah, we got Ark, which is a fantastic game, I'm sure you guys have seen it, if you have not, here is a, a quick little video for you. Quick watch this. So, yeah, you got your dinosaurs, you got your buildings, you got your axes and stuff. Now, I've never been able to get my game to actually look this beautiful like in this, but it is a pretty damn good looking game and it is incredibly fun with friends. I really haven't gotten around to playing it too much yet just because I'm waiting for one of my buddies to actually download it himself so we can play two player and whatnot and actually scorch the bowels of the earth. But, anyways, guys, yes, this is Ark Survival. Now, the second game that we've gotten is Grav, and that's actually one that I've been really interested about because it's recently come out on Steam. Um, I don't, it is an early access game and it does look very interesting. I'll quick go, let's quick look at a video real quick and see what this is all about. Alright, so basically we're up to $20 already and on top of this, this is another $20. So, so far we've spent 12 and we've gotten $40 worth of game so far. And look at Grav, it looks fucking sweet. Like, did you just see all that? I wanna... Check this out too. Maybe we got a better video here for us on Steam, but I'm not quite sure. I haven't really gotten to play this game. Let's see if we can skip forward a little bit. Come on, show us a show us some gameplay, survival adventure. Yes, we all know this. All right, let's just look at some pictures. Fuck it. If you look at this, it looks really interesting. It looks really. It just. I like the graphic style to it. It looks. It looks like it's really captivating. It looks like definitely something I will play, especially with this picture. Right, meow, with all that spaceship in the background, that bright red sword, it just looks fucking badass to me. And yeah, excuse my face, I know I haven't, I haven't gotten the chance to take a, a goddamn shower yet. <laughs> and now for the third game that we've gotten that I was so excited for, we got fucking Wasteland 2 Director's Cut, which is amazing. I love these top-down games, and if you have not seen Wasteland 2, you really need to pick that shit up. It is a damn good RPG with so many different options and things that you can do. And it seriously is just fantastic. So we're going to quick take a look at that. And like I said, we're at 40 for 12 And now we're at goddamn $80 for $12. Yes, this is a $40 game that we just got for a $12 subscription. I don't know how they do it, but it is fucking great, guys. Alright, so we're going to quick watch this for a sec. Ba boom ba boom I know a lot of people are turned off by these kind of games, but when you actually sit down and play them, they're actually super, super fun. At least I think so myself. Oh yeah. What the blood and guts. There's even a really big map. There's a whole bunch of just different options you can do. And this is also created by the people who made the original Fallout series, so you gotta know that's pretty it's, it's a pretty good goddamn game. Alright, so here, I'm gonna quick exit out of some of these because we've already already looked at them all right so what is the next one the next one is Shantae and the Pirate's Curse which um honestly I was expecting a lot of indie games we didn't get as much as I thought we would this time which actually makes me pretty damn happy because I don't want to play a shit ton of indie games besides a few of them and honestly this one looks like it might be a lot of fun I mean when I watch the video the gameplay to it actually looks like it could be decent so we're gonna quick check out this video yeah. this E for 10 okay what the fuck mm -hmm. Oh, oh. I don't know in a bathtub. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that have to do anything with? Don't tell me. <laughs> oh, shit. Way forward. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's kind of like an anime game almost in a way. At least the characters are a little bit. But yeah, I want to see some of the gameplay to this. Chante's Paracol. It actually looks like it could be decently fun. At least a nice little casual game, you know. So you got all that stuff. Got a... It's a nice little platformer, but anyways, let's exit out of this, and now let's check out the next one. The next one is I Am Bread, and I can't wait to actually get playing this. I was thinking about getting it already by myself, but I wanted to wait for the Hondo Bundle to come out, make sure I wasn't already getting it, and I can't wait to play that with you guys on the channel, so that should be great. Stick around for that. I will probably be playing most of these on my channel, actually, but some of them I do just want to give out the keys, which is not going to be Wasteland 2, because I'm going to fucking play that shit, and Grav I'll probably keep for myself, too, I'm not sure, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, but anyways, so yeah, got I Am Bread, I'm sure you guys know what it is, but we're going to watch the video anyways, just because I want to see it myself, I want to see what it looks like. Welcome to Bandershy! Something altogether different. Oh, shut up, IG, I don't want your opinion. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, for the graphics style, it's pretty damn good. What the? Wow, 
Vi Vice rated this game? Vice News? Okay. Strangest game you'll play this year weird. Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. I'm pretty sure the main objective of this game is to get smothered in jelly or to get toasted. One of the two, maybe it's both. Who, who the fuck knows? And for the fifth game that we got, it is Sentinels of the Multiverse, which I'm pretty sure may have been a board game or something. I'm not quite sure. You've never played a comic book like this. Control a team of heroes battling evil villains across dynamic environments. Play out epic comic book battles come to life in exciting adaptions of the hit card game. Ooh, that actually does sound pretty cool. All right, let's check out this video. I've not actually seen this game yet, so I'm a little bit excited. Oh shit, I also forgot to say, um, I am bread is here. Let's quickly look at the price so I can grab this up. I am bread, twelve dollars. So the eighty dollar value just went up to ninety two, which is damn good. Holy shit, man! You saving me some money. And plus this, we're at about a hundred and six dollars worth of games for twelve dollars. Sentinels at the moment, this. Oh god, that actually does look pretty damn cool. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. And it may be a card game, but it still looks like it could be a lot of fun. And you know what, I'm really surprised that they haven't come out with a badass Yu-Gi-Oh game. I mean, you know, I got the Game Boy game once and stuff, but I want to see like a full-fledged fucking Yu-Gi-Oh game. <laughs> I don't know, a lot of people don't care or give a shit about Yu-Gi-Oh, but I used to be very, very into that when I was little. Oh my goodness. And for the last game, guys, we have Switch Cars, which is another indie game that honestly looked pretty damn cool to me. I thought it looked like a lot of fun. Alright, Switch Cars is a big little road-like arcade set in a broken space time. Escape alien beasts over procedurally in oh over procedural environments using more than a thousand vehicles. You'll crash or run out of fuel, but that's okay. You'll switch to another vehicle. All you need to do is reach the year 2055 in theory. <laughs> okay, this is an early access game. I don't know why you would put a game like this out in early access. Why not just finish it? It's an indie game. It doesn't need to be early access. Like, what all are you really going to add to it? But I don't know. That's just my opinion on some of these early access games that don't need to be such as like H1Z1 where it's run by Sony and Sony you have fuck tons of money why do you need an early access but anyways guys yeah this is switch cars and it honestly looks like a lot of fun like over a thousand vehicles it sounds sweet and I'm pretty dude just turned into a fucking person oh god damn <laughs> look at all that it looks like a lot of fun safe zone year 2008 through space and time okay so we're actually flying through space and time that's actually kind of interesting I wonder if the environments change with it maybe we get to the future and whatnot you know it says get to 2055 but yes, guys, this has been the Humble Bundle for March 2016. I hope you enjoyed this. It is too late to get this one, but don't worry. You can actually pay early to get now South Park, The Stick of Truth, and this War of Mine. That is the first time they've done two games where you pay early and you actually get those two games right there and then. So that's pretty damn good. And I do plan on doing that just so I can do these videos. And plus, I like the deal. I really do. I mean, this shit gives you a lot of good stuff. Oh, in this last one, we get this... Um, I'm pretty sure this is an exclusive because usually Humble Bundle does an exclusive game, so we'll go to Battle Slots. However, the hell this game is, like, I've never heard of it, but honestly, it sounds pretty damn interesting, so we're gonna quick take a look at that. Alright, here we go, Battle Slots. Let's check out some of this gameplay, see what the hell it looks like. It should be pretty damn good. Oh, it's a Humble Original, like, um, Elephant in the Room. They had that on the February one, which was a Humble original which is kind of interesting that they're actually having people make them an exclusive game just for their website i actually like that a lot it gives it a lot more reason to go out and buy this humble bundle just because it's more games that we've never actually seen but yes let's take a look at this i mean there's a sloth eating pizza down there it looks goddamn awesome what 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 and that is Battle Sloss. But yes, guys, I hope you had a great time. I hope you decide whether or not you want to start doing Humble Bundle. Honestly, for me, I would definitely recommend it. Just know that you're always going to get at least, like, two big games. And then usually, well, I'm, I'm just going to say one big game. Because the last one, there wasn't really too many big games. It was mostly indie games. But this one was definitely the second. Er, well, no, this has been my favorite bundle so far. I mean, the first January one was pretty damn good. We got over $120 worth of games. But with this one, I'm pretty sure we may have even, like, went over that. Yeah, how much was Switch Cars? Switch Cars is 
$8, so I'm pretty sure we're up around like 110 120 somewhere around there, but yeah guys, $120, $110 worth of games for $12 a month, you can't tell me that's not a good deal, and especially with Wasteland 2, alright, that's a $40 game all by itself, with all the DLCs, Director's Cut, Classic Edition, perfect, 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 perfect. But yes, guys, like always from Michigan, I hope you had a great time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Newcomers, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next Humble Bundle monthly video, which will obviously be the next month, which always comes out on the first Friday of every single month. So yeah, stick around for that and go check out some of my gameplay videos. Got Far Cry Primal. Got all these new games going up. I even go ahead and mention some games. And I will probably be giving away one of these games, so watch my Twitter for that. And yeah, guys, I will see you on the next episode. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. Woo! This is definitely pretty damn hard, but we are gonna make it. Just gotta find a target. Who will we target? No targets yet. Boom. There we go.